Hi guys, Frostfang Sam, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We are going to be playing some Grok today. He's one of the few characters that aren't actually being changed in the upcoming patch. And that's the main reason why I chose him for today's video. We did Yin kind of recently, then we did the Christmas special, which you guys absolutely destroyed at the level on. So I will be trying to do more special stuff like that in the future, even though yeah, it's still kind of similar to my normal type of videos, but it just adds a nice little bit of flavor to him. And like I said, you guys showed crazy amounts of love on that. So I will try and do more things like that in the future. But we're doing Grok today. We're going to be playing him as a healer and also as a damage. They have haven't actually announced any changes for him whatsoever the same with ying so he's going to be the exact same in season three and then i think in the first batch after tiberius releases they're going to be fiddling with both grok and ying at the same time but yeah i got three different setups for him two based around his healing and then one based around his damage this one is definitely the most popular one which you see all of the time and mainly because it works really really well grok currently i'd say probably plays a bit better as a damage character than he does as a healer but he definitely still does a really really good job at heals in the damage loadout we have lightning rod four for a heal whenever we hit people with our shock pulse arc lightning for basically 50 percent bonus range on it. Thunderstruck and Conduit 3 for 18% ammo and also speed whenever we hit an enemy. Thunderstruck is each unique enemy and Conduit I'm pretty sure is any enemy the same as Lightning Rod but don't quote me on that. Conduit is the one I'm unsure about though because that one might also be on unique enemy it's just possibly worded wrong here and then Astral Traveler uh, 1. These two are the ones based around his heal. They both have Crackle 3 and Outreach 3 for extra range and also extra duration on the Q. Healing Rain 3 for extra heals based on max health and they both also have Gale 4 to reduce the cooldown of our Q whenever we use our F. Surprisingly useful. This one has a bonus health to the totem and this one has astral traveler too just depending on if i want to buff out the escape or the totem's health because it only has a k and this pushes it up by literally 50 percent so sometimes this is really good and in other situations where i actually need to use my f to get away this one is usually better well, that was a pretty in-depth explanation on all the grok stuff i'm just going to queue for onslaught or siege don't want to do tdm because we did a bunch of tdm in the christmas special so i'll stay away from tdm for a little bit and then we'll just go ahead and queue for everything again all right well for game one we've got king of the hill snowfall junction i've gone ahead and locked in my grok we've got our mave a khan a drogos and a willow should we switch up the skin i guess i can start off with brimstone sure why not and then on the enemy team we're up against ev bk io sky and then strix so no tank on their side luckily we do have a tank so i'm going to be probably going for support in this first one do we go for a cc immunity i kind of want to just so that we can ignore like the ev ult a little bit and also the bk q but i don't know if it's the best idea here yeah i think i'm going to go for totemic ward and then also the extra health on the totem i don't really think the extra speed on the f is going to help me too much here because this map is really really open but also i think that the cc immunity is going to be a pretty good choice because bk is seemingly going for excel and also that kind of denies like the io stun and some of the eevee ult stuff bk is just here maybe we can get rid of him for free there we go nice i got rid of io a minute ago as well get some hits over there on the eevee jesus christ she's moving around like mad maybe we can get rid of sky i can't just grab her so there we go that was a free one we'll just drop our q down over there for him that heals for 170 a tick which is pretty nice i was kind of expecting bk to switch from accelerant but he actually stayed on it which means that our q is actually going to be really really strong because it counters his stun like completely pretty much there so missed right click which is a bit of a shame the radius on our q is also quite big so it does cover basically most of the point. Did I forget to go through Tants? I think I forgot to go through Tants. I guess I can go through them really quick. We've got Cat, Burglar, Blast, Flower, Fuselard, Vortex, Grip, Rip against Wormhole, Accelerant. I think Io had Lifelink. I'll check the rest in just a sec. Hello Sky. I'm going to throw uh, the Q down and then push up. I thought this is probably a good idea just to make sure we can hold this objective. And they have Debilitate and also Unauthorized Use. Go ahead and get some more Cronus. I'm probably going to just focus on getting Cronus and Morale Boost so far. Holding the point's been pretty easy. They haven't really been uh, pushing for it at all. Hello Sky. Keep holding left click. There's the F. I'm going to throw the Q and also go for an all. I think all of them are on the other side here. So maybe we can get a kill or two honestly it's been a pretty uneventful match so far it's been throwing out my q using my f for the reset and basically just holding the point in the entire game i'm gonna have a ridiculous amount of objective time they're not really doing a great job of getting rid of me i think i've got two deaths already so far yeah two deaths that's bk running in i'm just gonna throw the q and use the f there we go just completely countered that let's get some hits on him i'm not gonna be able to go through him because io's there healing him but there we go that's my third death respawns feel like they take forever we're getting like 10 second respawns here i think it's because they're behind in school we're getting longer respawns but they've regained most of the lead we had just because they got like one team wipe and we all had to wait freaking like 12 seconds to respawn but there so right click on him for a little bit of extra damage let's go back to sitting on the objective i guess you effing so trash i don't even know who the mave is talking to willow maybe because she's been spamming vgs this has legit just been like an objective boy video so far i don't even have illuminate to deal with this guy and she's still not that big of an issue I just got rid of her there with like no trouble whatsoever because she's making really predictable patterns the bk stun that doesn't stun how did he just throw it again there's no way to reset freaking cooldown on bomb king q so is that just like an animation bug i don't really know Do i go for the all i'm gonna go for the all and just get away uh, from the sky bomb which still nearly killed me jesus christ i don't have that much quarter eyes so i'm kind of doing all right there's the f probably should have just used my q instead of the f there but i guess it's fine let's get rid of this io my tracking is trash managed to get our 100 score lead back pretty easily i'm just going to continue sitting on the point and throwing out my terms if i use my f properly i can have it up basically the entire time i'm pretty sure other than like a one or two second downtime which is pretty mad okay i'm gonna have a pretty good heal number but we'll see there's another q hello evie she's been the biggest issue so far because of how mobile she is strix is nearly gone that will q did nearly 
Radiance to kill him, Mave just went and finished off the last couple freaking bits of health they had left. Every now and again I have a game where I can tell that I'm going to cut most of it out and this is definitely going to be one of them because I've just spent most of the game I just sat on the point and I reckon I'm probably going to have 100 or 200 seconds on it. Khan is as well because he's been doing the same thing as us basically. We'll throw another Q down. That's all I've been doing is throwing the Q and they deal a bit of damage. We fully heal up for it and we usually uh, get rid of him. That's BK running in. Is he going over the top? He is. I just used my F although I don't know if he even hit me with it. I just threw my Q. They're getting a ton of court now which is actually a bit of a pain. I'm dead to BK. I think that's like three or four of them there. Yeah, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Guess we'll just go ahead and finish off Kronos and finish off Morale Boost. I literally just had enough credits. We're still ahead by like 150 points. Don't even know how. Hello, Sky. I'm in my queue. Whenever they're not freaking putting Mad Court onto me, we are doing pretty good. Let's get rid of this Strix. Maybe that is three of them. I should not be going in this direction. I'm going to try and pop the F, which I can luckily do in the air. I tried to throw my Q down, but I kind of knew BK was going to kill me. He was watching me the entire time I was flying around. I did lightly mention, though, a minute ago that I reckon Grok's going to be in a pretty good spot, especially considering he's still keeping his CC immunity. That was honestly something that I was kind of expecting them to get rid of. He's still going to be able to apply CC immunity with that Q, which makes him ridiculously strong. There's the F to cancel out that ult. There's a right click. There's my Q. Am I even in that? Where did I just throw my Q? How did I manage to throw that in like the doorway? I completely butchered it, but it seems like we're still going to win anyway. We've got 150 points on him. Don't see him pulling it back, but I guess we'll see. We'll throw a Q there for him. I'll dip around from where that Q was about to detonate. We'll use the F for the reset. Still not up. I've got like a second left on it, and I'm dead to Strix. Where even is Strix? How did Strix even hit me here? Did he hit me around Khan's shield, or did he just miss? I'm not really sure how he managed to dink me there. I guess I was a little bit too far to the right. I didn't realize. Khan is somehow still on there, though. We'll throw another Q for him. There we go. He's keeping that shield up as much as he can. He did just die, though. After like 15 seconds of them hitting him, he did eventually die. Why am I standing in this Eevee queue? I don't know. I'm getting mad heals from my thing, though. Hello, Eevee. There's an F. I'm going to try and throw my Q down again. I, again, I threw it in front of me. I don't know how, and there is the victory. That match is going to be super cup. That's for sure, because of how much time I spent there doing basically uh, nothing. But BK is the man with top play. Let's see what this is. Can't even really say that anybody was playing badly that game. They just didn't put that much pressure on the point. But uh, yeah, BK has top play. He got a double stun, then he got rid of the Maven. He got rid of Willow. Why was a double kill just chosen as the top play? There were like triples and I think even a quadra in that match. Top play algorithm always ends up confusing me, but there we go. There are the stats for game one. Nearly said a game two there. Shoutouts also to uh, Foxy as he called me out here in the chat. And I don't know if anybody else did. I'm not sure. Maeve was just complaining that we weren't playing on the point, apparently, even though we have 198 seconds and 168 seconds. And she had literally 15. Don't really understand that complaint there. But yeah, shoutouts to Foxy as he said, hello there, Fang of the Frost. Shoutouts to Ass of the Fox. If we do go through the stats, though, uh, Drogo's did a little bit under average there. The Willow did about average for that match. Khan uh, did pretty good. He was playing the point with us. He didn't do very much damage there at all, but he did shield for a turn. So props to him. And then Maeve uh, did pretty decent. I had a ton of objective time, decent amount of heals, decent amount of damage. Nothing crazy. I just played at uh, the point. And once again, that proves that King of the Hill is a very, very objective based match, possibly more than Onslaught is. Just because if you play the point and the enemy team forgets about it, you're just going to rack up points and basically guarantee uh, that you get a win, even if you play quite a bit worse than the enemy team. Just like I'd say we probably did there, but the EV did okay. She didn't play as good as I thought as she did there, stat wise. The Strix did pretty decent. He was sat at the back for most of that game. BK also did pretty good. Sky didn't do great, and IO did pretty decent. Overall, I would say that they were probably the better team there, but since we were playing the point and we were kind of just holding it pretty well, I think we got a pretty easy win. Guess we'll go ahead and queue for another onslaught or a siege. We'll probably play damage Grok in this second one. And considering all the changes in season three, I reckon Grok is going to be in a pretty damn good spot. Obviously, quarter is being pulled down at a 75% while also probably remaining the same cost. That's obviously going to make a really big difference, but also a ton of the other healers being nerfed substantially. It'll be interesting to see what they actually end up doing with Grok, but considering in this first patch, he's going to be going in the exact same way. He's going to be a top pick, I'm pretty sure. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into game two. We've got Siege 7 Beach as the map. Shout out to Azuzni Mega 25. Don't know if I'm saying that right. And also Anastya Chan. Okay, shout out to those two guys. Went ahead and popped a skin booster. I guess we can switch over to a Neon Demon. I'll probably play damage in the second one, seeing we do have an IO. Pretty good situation for it. We also have a Makoa, a Buck, and a Strix. Please add me any vid. One sec. I have no idea what he's trying to say there. On the enemy team, we're up against Genos, Zin, Burke, Strix, and Lian. Weird thing with Grok that doesn't really make any sense is he does have another exclusive skin, the one that you got from playing ranked. But for whatever reason, the skin booster, even though it's meant to unlock exclusive skins, it doesn't unlock that one. So I don't know why it's called exclusive if it doesn't work the same as other exclusive ones, like this one. This one is technically exclusive, and yet I can get it with a skin booster, but I can't get the other one. It doesn't really make sense. Should actually have a pretty good time here playing damage Grok because we have a healer, we do have a tank, and we're also up against a tank who does have deployables back with his turrets and stuff. So we, we should be pretty good here. I'm going to start out a recorder eyes. We've got lifelink, leviathan, bulk up, unauthorized use. We're up against another unauthorized use. Uh, Tinkerin, Eminence, Yomi, and Luminous. Super standard picks here all round. Nothing really worth pointing out at all. Loadouts, I reckon, is probably going to be the same. Everybody rocking super standard stuff, although the buck did just switch to and snare, and then he also went for a loadout for it. Let's go ahead and run a left with the team, and we'll start throwing out our right clicks as early as we can. I just missed that, even though it looked like a hit Leanne a square in the head. I guess we can focus on Barak first. I guess we'll play a little bit more 
towards the middle will land a right click for free on his turret which is I guess the proper way to play this yeah I guess that's the way to play this is to land right clicks for free on the turret that works out quite well there's another freaking right click there Zin is on the side I think Strix is kind of dealing with him Strix seems to be dealing with him pretty well there's another right click which just got us a bunch of free bounces that's a pain in the ass when you play like a bag going against a grok like this it's so cheesy there's another right click for him gonna have to pull back a little bit here there's a right click for you which did heal me up quite nicely there's another one for uh, the barrack. I got a massive frame rate drop there where he died but I guess it's fine get a right click on you there we go bounce still work missed the second right click there there's another one he's probably gone here I don't imagine him staying up yeah there we go cool I think Strix is up top I just heard an invis up there I did just dink him with one little hit or two there's a missed key but it's fine we got the point objective captured nice I've been missing so many of my right clicks here but luckily it's still kind of working out his turret's gone I'm gonna just make sure the Zin doesn't do too much damage here on the side there's my F while we heal up okay cool there's a right click for you which did actually land and got a pretty freaking big heal from it we're actually still up thank you I also for that heals there hello Leanne there's a missed right click god damn it do have the ult up I'm not really sure if I should go for it though there's a double triple how did I just get a triple for free uh wait no I didn't get a triple I just killed the Leanne twice apparently I'm dead to uh, Strix and Barak okay sorry my brain just melted that's definitely up there with like one of the freest doubles I've ever got in a video I didn't even realize where they were and I just got two kills because I bounced it off of the Barak there's another right click there's another right click and there's another right click definitely not looking too good just gonna heal from being out of combat there's a Q over there I just need to be careful with the Strix he's the only person really giving me much trouble I can deal with everybody else it's just him because I don't know where he is and then he hits me for like 1.2k which isn't fun there's a right click for you I would just use ult for some reason there's another right click cool barracks gone let's also get rid of Zin sick and that is probably uh, the cap can see they're all dead nice well done team we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a spicy emote on there I think James is running out any sec yeah there we go let me get another little 150 on you gotta make my stats look good for a video right <laughs> one hell of a fast match so far we're at 2-0 4 minutes 30 I've only got one death which I probably could have avoided if I just played a little bit more sensibly they're getting a decent amount of quarter eyes although that doesn't really affect us all that much because I can pretty much fully heal when I enter my F if I use my right click properly. Loadout's been working pretty well, so I guess we'll just go ahead and go into the second round at five minutes. Sure, see if we can turn this into a 4 0. Don't think we can, but I'm going to give it an effort. Landed that one. Thank God I freaking missed the first one. They are getting Bulldozer for me and IO, which definitely makes sense. If I landed that, that barrack might be gone. Can I land one of those? No, his turret's in the way, which is a bit of a pain. Did I land that on the Zin? Not really sure what just happened. That was a bit messy. That missed. I need to land these right clicks for my heal, but also for my ammo and my speed. It's like a really, really big thing if I end up missing it consecutively. That's barrack going for the ult. Do I need to ult here? I don't really feel like I do. We'll land a right click for free up on those turrets we'll get a couple little dinks miss the one on Leanne because of course I did there's a right click for you I'm gonna also go uh, for the ult probably unnecessary but this will probably get us a kill at least on the barrack and possibly a couple other people let's get rid of the generals just melt him with the left click he's gone use the F unnecessary but I'm still alive so I guess it's whatever hello Zin just melt him there we go cool we just wiped them again Leanne is still up and Strix is still up but I'm not gonna jump on the point and get rid of five of us so I'm pretty sure that's the three nil which is all I was really hoping for there we go nice there's a queue up there for the Makar I'm pretty sure Strix is gonna be objective boy so I can push up a little bit Zin so over there there's a right click for you there's my F I'm so glad I'm playing Grok and I kept that ability up because also I just got completely bodied didn't react very quickly to that there but I'm nearly gone oh my god I threw my Q and then Zin got rid of me I'd actually say Zin is probably the person causing the most trouble for the team right now Strix is still annoying but Zin is probably more so I threw a Q back there for him there's a right click on you he's gone oh my god that's Strix just losing like half my health pretty much instantly from that Strix sucks there goes the uh, Leanne will throw a Q down any second there's one I threw that a little bit further back than I wanted to he's also instantly getting rid of my totem which is a pain in the ass pop the f real quick and heal up there we go get some little dinks on there on the zin there's a right click for you at the back cool it actually is going to get a ton of damage there's another right click there's another right click rex turret has also been a bit of a pain in the ass i'm nearly dead here there's a right click for you which didn't bounce at all god damn it they were just out of range mako went ahead and popped the ult he's seemingly getting rid of the zin the strix is gone on their side uh buck is gone the leon is out though there's only two of them up are we actually going to finish this with a four nil yeah barrack's gone from mako uh, there's the win didn't really think we were going to get that because i died and i thought some other people were going to fall off but then Makoa had popped the ult and the team basically did the rest but I guess we ended up with a top play is this going to be like the free double that was technically a triple is that maybe why is that maybe why the top plays have been getting messed up apparently not it's not even that play what is this uh, it's me getting an assist I think on the Strix we get another assist and another assist that is literally me just getting three assists if that doesn't show you that the top play is busted I don't really know what does and it also goes on for way longer than it should it shows me emoting at least and also spraying I think but there's the top play I don't even feel good about that that was a trash top play <laughs> and there we go there are the stats for game two i did pretty decent just nothing crazy we didn't have top damage these tricks i beat us out, but we did have second and we also do have top objective time which is kind of surprising so i didn't feel like i was playing it that much but apparently i was we also had a measly 10k heals but if you go through the rest of the stats uh buck did okay not that much damage though io did pretty good on heals the makoa uh, shredded 11 two props to him he was a pain in the ass for the enemy team i could tell strix also did pretty decent not crazy damage but a pretty good stat shout outs to demon slayer 16 i nearly misses he said nice christmas special frost fangs thank you very much big ups demon slayer that was uh, the barrack I don't know if it's relating to the show at all, but I've watched a couple episodes. It's pretty good. If we go through the stats, 
on their side, their Strix did pretty decent. It was a big pain in the ass for me. The Leon did pretty decent. The Jones did pretty good. The Barak did pretty decent. And then Zin has a bit of a worse stat than I was expecting. He was a big pain in the ass for me. Maybe he wasn't for the rest of the team there. Stats don't really show him to be, but I don't know that stat would lead you to believe that he wasn't playing very well. But in my opinion, he was playing pretty decently. And there we go. That was Grok. We did damage. We did healing. I reckon I did a pretty good job of showing them both off. And I reckon if he doesn't get changed in a pretty significant way, he is going to be in a pretty damn good spot. They've said that they're not changing him for the season three update, but I think they also said that they're going to be changing them in the first update after season three and i reckon if you take into consideration everything that is being changed in season three he's going to be at the top of the pile at least in my opinion alongside the other characters who aren't getting very much tweaked to the characters that are getting uh, buffs because there's quite a few of them that are getting really really big buffs so there we go that was grok thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed let me know what you want to see me do next i'll see you guys all very very soon and as always stay frosty